Hey guys, Ace here. I know I haven't done a video on this channel in a long time. Uh, it's mostly Gary, and since Gary right now is on a retreat, I felt it, it was necessary for me to come on the channel and talk about the newly announced 2023 A0035 Monkey King Ultra Warrior Mech. This time around in 2023, I know nothing about the 2023 Monkey Kid sets. I heard some rumors about the show and all this stuff, but about the sets and but about the sets, I didn't really have an idea of what was coming. So this is in fact a surprise for me as well. I woke up to messages at around 4 in the morning, people of people sending me this and asking me to talk about this. And I do have to finish a school project right now, but I do want to make some time to talk about this set. I don't really know how I feel about the move, but I do think it was the right move that LEGO remade the Monkey King Warrior Mech, or how we the fandom call it, the Monkey Mech. I do think it was a correct move. The Monkey Mech is such an iconic Monkey Kid vehicle, it, it's pretty much the Batmobile for the for this theme. So, people who come into the theme need to have access to it. And LEGO can keep producing in 2020 sets in 2023. So I think it was the right move to remake a set, or maybe upgrade the set, however you want to see it, and make something different. And what they made is, it's unique. It's definitely different. I, I definitely think LEGO understood the assignment but it's one of those sets that i need to see more of like let me where's the picture here we have a better look at it in this picture. i definitely like some of the things they did but i also don't like some of the things they did so for starting off i don't really love the color scheme i like i mean i like the red but like where's the yellow it's all gold red and teal which i don't really know how to feel about i do think it's awesome this new element the, these new cloud blade pieces, I think these are dope. Uh, I, it, I do think it's cool how you see at the hip, you see these blades, but then in this picture, you can see these blades become like a vehicle. So I think that transformation feature is going to be amazing. And I do think this picture does, like seeing the set in this, this angle does give me a better look at it. I don't really know how tall it is, which for me, like I have all most of the Monkey Kid mechs. I do have, I'm just missing the Demon Bullet King and just because I didn't really like that one. So like, someone who really likes these sets and collects these sets, I don't have like the instant need to buy this one. And uh, I don't know, it's just, some of the things they did with it are dope. Some of the things they did with it, I don't really dig right now. Maybe they grow on me as this set gets, maybe they grow on me as this, as I see more of the set. Like, right now, I'm just not really feeling it. Uh, like, just looking at stuff. Like, again, like, going to the figures. The figures are amazing. Like, we get a, a more, like, Celestial MK, which I dig. We get a Tripitaka, or, like, a Journey to the West. Uh, Inspire Tang with a new mold. And something I do have to say is I love that LEGO goes all out with Monkey Kid and gives us new molds. Like, if you look at... We have a really good look at the figures. These are... All three of these characters have new molds. And yes, this year around, we are getting the demons of Camel Ridge. And yes, we're getting the Lion Lynx demon, the Yellow Tooth Elephant, and what looks like to be the eagle with new wing pieces, which those wings do look dope. The molds overall look amazing. I think, I, I really do love what Light was doing with these molds. Like, I don't know, they're just different, but like, they work. At first, when I woke up and saw them, I wasn't really a fan because I was like, ah, I don't know how to feel about them. But now that I'm looking at them in HD and like bigger and probably once I have them in hand, I love the colors of these. Like, I don't know, they're just so unique and different. We mostly get villains in black and red and yellow, but these are just, you know, they're teal, they're white, they're yellow, they're, pur they're purple and gold. They're just so unique in so many different ways. And I, I, I really do enjoy that. Lego is really going all out with these figs. And so, like, I, 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 I'm I so excited just to see the rest of the wave. I know there's going to be about eight or seven sets. Probably probably eight. I hope there's eight sets. But, like, the figures in these sets just look fantastic. And even, like, the, the, the good guys were getting a brand new staff piece, which was not necessary. But, hey, like, I'll take it. Uh, I will miss the old staff piece, the Drum Lake or Gold piece, but this one looks more accurate to the show. Again, I think my only complaint about this, like the mech in, in, in the mech itself, is the lack of yellow, which is part of MK's color scheme. It's a lot of gold, it's a lot of teal, it's a lot of red, but I don't really see the yellow. Maybe, or maybe it's just the lighting or something. 
Uh, but I do like the design. The head, I would have liked the head to be brown, like the original MK Mech, like the, like the original Monkey Mech. I would have preferred it if it was brownish or something. But yeah, overall, that's that's like my rough thoughts on this set. I, I like it. I dig it. I, I know it's going to be expensive. I thought it's going to be like, what, 150, 160. I can't. I want to see the full HD images of this. I want to see the figures in detail. I can't wait to have this. I don't really know if I'm going to buy this set, cause mostly because I don't really have space for mechs anymore. Like the Monkey Kid, the Ninjago and Monkey Kid mechs already take a big space out of my room. So, like, I, I don't know if I'm going to buy this. It, it remind, maybe I'll buy this and build it later on and just have it sealed. Because, I, I like, the, the design is one of those things that the more I look at it, the more I like it. Again, my only complaint would be the head. I, I don't love the, like, the head is all red. I would have liked to see, like, a brownish head or, like, a black or something. I don't know. It just, it looks, it feels odd that the head is all red. But, like, that's my only complaint. I love the, these new winged pieces. I think they look amazing with the, and again, the, bl the new blade pieces, where is the image? The new blade pieces, cloud blade pieces look fantastic. I hope we get more use of the, out of those. But yeah, that, that's about it with my for my Monkey Kid thoughts. Uh, tell me in the comments down below, guys. What do you guys think out of this set? Story-wise, I have no clue what's going on, but I can't wait to find out. Anyways, I'm Ace, and this is Monkey Central. Take care, guys.